accomplishment? Um, that's a big question. I was thinking, like, what's my favorite, you know, color or favorite ice cream? Um, my biggest accomplishment, I would say, um, I love putting on a live show, and the fact that I've been able to kind of, for the last two tours, do the show of my dreams in a way, and get out there and night after night watch people smile and feel like I can connect with my fans on a very personal, real level, night after night. Um, to me, that's why I started doing music, and now that it's gotten to a level where I get to make the show I imagined when I first started, um, I would say that's, that's the dream for me. Awesome. What would you like to accomplish? that you have it. <gasps> Someday I want to have, well, two things. Someday I want to have my own Vegas residency. And then also I'm working very slowly but surely on a Broadway musical. I've always wanted to write and produce and direct a Broadway show. That's cool. Um, what's your favorite thing to do in Nashville? Favorite thing to do in Nashville? I didn't mean to have an accent when I said that. I'm sorry, that's so disrespectful. Um, it's because I've always slightly wanted to be a Southern belle. I think that women with a Southern accent is the cutest thing um, but let's see I love going to hear live music at just some of the some of the bars and I think that's what we're gonna try to do tonight actually after the show is done we're gonna go get some food and listen to some some good musicians awesome. first record you bought first record I bought Britney Spears baby one more time don't regret it one thing people would be surprised to find out about you oh, this is such a hard question um, Maybe that, uh, oh, I, um, I edit all my own music videos to this day because uh, I love it. I love editing and I'm a nerd and that's actually kind of what led me into what I do today was um, I had the ability to make videos and that's why I started my YouTube channel. And, but to this day, one of my favorite things in my career is when I get to sit there and nerdy out on a video. I love that. Favorite memory as a child? There's only two more. Favorite memory as a child? Uh, you know, my... Uh, yeah, I would say this was a good one. Um, favorite memory as a child? This is hard. Okay. Um, my dad was like a very present dad in my life. And he used to, when I was really little, some of my first memories are of him on Saturdays. I would wake him up early in the morning. His one day that he didn't have to go to work early, I would wake him up. And he would eat cereal with me on the floor, on my blankie. And that was his time where he would tell me stories about his life. And it made me want to live a life of adventure. And I really owe the person I am today is so much to both my parents, but it's a lot of it is the fact that my dad had all these stories and I thought, I want to take risks, I want to do things, I want to live a life of adventure. And it's because those moments with my dad. That's special. What's the best piece of advice for new artists? Best piece of advice for new artists? Um, I think it's our own fear holds us back so many times and our limiting beliefs of what we can and can't do. And I really think my superpower as a musician when I started was that I didn't understand that what I was setting out to do was impossible. I wanted to be an independent, not signed to a label. I wanted to be a violinist that danced and played shows to thousands and thousands of people and wrote albums. That's impossible. But I didn't know it was impossible, and so I worked my tail off. And I think because I believed so strongly that it was possible, I did it somehow. And yeah, I think believing in yourself, giving yourself permission to fail and get up again, I think that's your superpower. Well said. Okay, if you record a duet with any star, who would it be? If I record a duet with any star, um, oh, I'm going to say Imagine Dragons, Dan Reynolds.